Hey everyone, it's Cheryl here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really fun one because I'll be making one of these um, pom-pom sequin gumball machines with you on camera. Um, I made this last night and I posted it on Instagram and I think everyone loved it. And I really wanted to make another one, so I thought I'll just film it. Um, so yeah, this is the one I made last night using Sweet Story and I love how this turned out. This is so cute and I've got all of these fun sequins in here and yeah, I just love it. So um, I'm making another one today and I'm, I've already prepped my base. So basically, um, I should explain how this works. Um, the base is a cut file that I got from the Silhouette Design Store and I will leave the um, design or file ID down below in my description box. And um, this bit is one of these um, Christmas like ornament things. So I got these ones here um, last year at Christmas and I had them left over and I thought I could make something with that. So... Um, mine come like this. Um, I mean, they're all different, but mine come like this so they you can um, insert a photo in here, which I've done at Christmas, but um, I removed that bit and just used it as my um, little ball for the gumball machine. Um, but yeah, I wanted to start assembling this cut file now. So it comes with these pieces here and I think there were some other bits which I didn't cut out because I didn't really need them so I'm gonna start assembling this um, and what I did it doesn't come with this piece but I created an offset of this rectangular one here and I'm going to punch a hole because I think this looks really nice and I also created an offset of the actual base and I use this lilac paper and um, to make this even more fancy I use some pretty glitter tool and just put some sequins around here so I'm gonna have sequins all around my um, gumball machine and the sequin mix I use for this is something I made today um, it's mainly pink and purple there are some champagne gold sequins in here and then these tiny little hearts which are quite annoying because they all stick to this plastic here <laughs> so it's really hard to get these um, black sequins out of here so not a good idea to mix them in those little containers but I wanted to start assembling this now so what I forgot to do when I created the offset I accidentally removed this hole so I'm just going to line this up and repunch it with my new favorite crafting tool i love this thing and it's okay if the hole is a little bit bigger because um we'll just be using one of these like brads later on so yeah um now how am i gonna do this bit here <laughs> this is gonna be hard um i think i'm just gonna align it kind of and then just turn around punch a hole I'm sure I'm gonna have a sequin in there, right? I didn't think this through, but yeah, let's just try this. Let's see if that works. Ah, I can't get there. You know what? I'm gonna get a pen. I had a pen here a minute ago. And I'm just going to like draw that little hole. Yeah, and then I can just punch this out, hoping I won't have any sequins in there. Let's give this a try. There we go. That kind of worked. Just got to be careful when we <laughs> stick this on there. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave this on the side here because I don't need it right now. But I wanted to assemble this base. so that's all folded and I'm going to curl this paper a little bit I'm gonna use this little tool here just to 
make it easier to oops, um, glue it together when it's a little bit rounder. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because most of this is going to be covered up anyways. Yeah, I think that looks all right. So this is going to be the top bit and this is the bottom bit, which we're going to assemble now with this. So my hot glue gun is hot enough. So I'm just going to start at one quarter and then work my way around this. Um... I'm gonna do a few at a time because yesterday I tried to do like one at a time and it was really difficult because I couldn't really get into the corners. So I just start here and it's fine if there's extra glue, I can always just peel it off. All right, so that's done. And it's looking good. Yesterday I used um, this gold shiny cardstock and for some reason hot glue doesn't like this cardstock so it keeps coming off and we can kind of see how much, like it's a little bit loosier but it's still fine. So I think glitter cardstock will be a lot easier to use. Mine looks a bit dodgy especially over here but if, um, once you use this little like ball it will kind of shape itself so and it's at the back so no one really cares about that bit right <laughs> so now i'm gonna try to align this bit let me see it goes right there because i can align it with that hole which is punched so i just wanted it to be on here like just like that and I think I'm going to use hot glue for this because double-sided tape is not gonna stick on this glitter card but what I don't like is that all of these sequins have traveled to the bottom and so I kind of need to move these sequins around first it's a bit annoying but I know it's gonna look really cute once it's done but just getting the sequins to do what I want them to do is a little bit annoying. And to align this, to make it easier, I'm just gonna use this little brad here. Just poke it through that little hole and then I can just put glue around this. I want a few more here. Because I feel like once this is glued down, it's going to be really hard to move these sequins around. So I just want them to be nice right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go for it. Oh no, I've just ruined it. Ah! It's falling apart already. <laughs> No! So hot glue also doesn't like this cardstock apparently. <laughs> and it just comes off great. This is so annoying. All right, let's try this again. Um, oh, this keeps coming off as well. What is going on today? Okay, so I just had to fix this. Um, so it kept, kept coming off. So what I did, um, because this is, this is quite difficult to bend with all of these sequins in it. So I kept peeling off on the side. So I just used staples to staple it in place and it's never coming off now. And I will use something to cover this up. So I'm not gonna leave it like this. I think I'm gonna use um, maybe like a pretty bow or uh, something like that. I don't know, I haven't thought about it yet. I just wanted to get this fixed because it kept coming off and it was really bothering me but like this it's not coming off so um yeah don't try to do this um this doesn't really work and all of these sequins are stuck here on the bottom which is kind of annoying but it's fine we can make it work 
So what I'll do now is this front bit here. So I've actually rounded these corners because um, I feel like these square corners are a little bit too square. So I'm just going to round all of them really quick. Okay, that looks a lot better. And I'm going to try to curl this as well, just a little bit. I just like that and I will use um, double-sided tape which is here <laughs> sorry I was looking for my tape I had it on my desk somewhere because I want this to be like to stand out a little bit like I don't want it to be all flat against those sequins <laughs> Okay, so I'll just peel that off. Um, so I'm gonna use this again as a little guide because I wanna stick this down to this piece or I might actually use this piece first and stick it down on my little um, base here. I'm just gonna use some hot glue. And I want it to be right there. I think this is gonna turn out really really cute once that little dome is on top with all of those sequins in it i think that's gonna be super cute and now this one again i'm just gonna use this as a little guide because i want to find the middle there we go looks so weird from the top doesn't it <laughs> right um so this little like handle bit um i cut out two pieces because i wanted this to be a little bit stronger so i'm just going to stick these two together and let them dry for a minute i just wanted this to be like, extra strong because i don't want it to rip when you turn it um what else this bit i just realized i cut it out from the same paper um but i think it still looks cute so that's gonna go down here yeah i think it still looks cute and then these two bits are going to be up there on the top. So I'm gonna stick this tiny piece here. And this is going over here. This is such a cute little 3D project and it just looks so cute. Now we can use this little thing and our little brad. So what I like to do is kind of separate them just a little bit. This is going to go through all of these layers. So I actually have two brads here. I've got this one and I've got this hot pink one. So I'm not sure which one I should use. Do we like this one or do we like the other one? I think we, I like this one better. So what I'm gonna do is, I feel like I've got way too many layers going on here. It doesn't even reach the end. So I can't really bend the corners that well. Oh. I feel like I've, I've got a dodgy brad here because Yeah, one side is a bit shorter. Do you see that? Let me get another one. All right, I just grabbed another one. Um, I think this one's going to work a bit better because both sides are the same. Yeah, now I can actually see them through this disaster that I created here. But 
Oh, um, would be a good idea if I include this bit, right? I feel like I can't think when the camera's on because I feel watched, but it's also kind of fun. So I'm just trying to bend these little things. On the inside, I think I've used way too many layers, but it does kind of work. Here we go. Um, it looks like it's like it when I do this, it looks like it's coming off, um, but it's kind of secure in there, so it's, it's not coming off. So, this is the base kind of done. Um, I've got this little like thing here with this like donut piece so this is going to be the top bit of my um gumball machine so i'm just going to try to assemble this real quick and then comes the fun part which is decorate like filling up that um dome with some fun sequins and pom-poms that's like the coolest bit I think okay. all right this is done it doesn't look perfect but it's fine because I'm going to cover it up with a pom-pom anyways so let's get to this little thing so what I do is I remove this bit because we don't need that and mine just opens up like this and then I've got this little thing here and you can you can um, trace out a picture and then put it into this little ball but I'm going to be filling this up with some pom-poms so I'm just gonna use a mix of big ones and small ones I feel like I want one big one of each color Sorry about all of the crinkling noise here. So four. And then I've got these two little sets. I'm just gonna use a couple of purple ones. And I wanna get to these pink ones here. And these like tiny pink ones. I use them for my other project. <laughs> I feel like I've only got I've only got like um, purple ones left. But yeah, I'm also going to include some white ones. Some of these giant ones. These tiny ones here. So cute. That might be enough. I'm gonna use a few more of these smaller ones. See, they seem to um, just hide in that little dome. There we go. And the secret mix I was going to use is this one here, which I think will go well with this, with the color of my um, base. What I'm gonna do is I will remove these big ones, put them on this side, and fill this side up with sequins. I think it might be easier. The thing is, the sequins all travel to the bottom, so I just really want to fill this up. I think that's enough. Okay, I don't want to go overboard with the sequins. Um, so I'm, I don't intend on opening this, so what I'm going to do is I'll just use a little bit of a hot glue over here and on the bottom because I don't want this to like explode and open up because I want this to be sealed forever. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds until this is dry. Like that and here we go look at how fun this is oh I love it okay so this is going to go up here and then we're like almost done 
So I'm going to use some hot glue. around the base and then stick this on here. I'm gonna try to do this as straight as I can. Oh, this is not straight. Well, this looks good. I'm just gonna press it down because I really want this to stay. And then this piece is gonna be on top here. And then I'm gonna put another pom pom right on top of that. And I think I'm gonna use this pink color, maybe a smaller one. This one here, this looks so cute. Oh, I can't wait to turn it around and show you. Well, I've got a lot of excess hot glue here but I can peel it off. Look at how adorable this is. I just need to try and push these sequins. Oh this is so adorable. I'm gonna peel off this glue down here. Right you can't see it that much and I feel like I wanted to put some pom-pom trim around there. So I did pom-pom trim around the top because this little um, thing here is a little bit too high for this. Actually, it does look okay because I really like the look of having pom-pom trim around here and that would kind of cover up our hot glue mess. What do you think? I was going to use some... Um, like bling stickers like this but i think i actually prefer this pom-pom trim around here i'm gonna do this at the end because i will still have to think about it but i'll glue this thingy down it doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be covering it up with a pom-pom anyways I've just realized I'm about to run out of hot glue sticks, so I guess it's placing an order on Amazon tonight. Push this little pom-pom right there. Use a bit too much glue, but should hold it in place oh my god this is so adorable look at these two gumball machines <gasps> i love them and i do really like having these staples here because it holds it properly like it's definitely not falling apart oh so cute so do we want pom-pom around here Oh, I think this looks really, really cute. I'm gonna do that. It's cute. So I'm gonna try not to use too much glue this time. Okay, so this pom-pom trim kind of covered up the first um, row of staples. So I think if we just add another bow, Oh my god, isn't that adorable? Like a little bow at the back of this. So gonna do this. I made these bows a couple of weeks ago and they're so cute. They just take a while to make, but they look really cute. So I'm just going to glue these down there. And I mean, it's a little bit too long, but I can cut off. <laughs> I can cut off these bits. Oh my god, that's so cute! I should have put one on this one as well. I might do that. So let's cut off these extra bits here. And 
and you will never know I stapled this together. <laughs> How cute is this? So I think all that's left is I wanted to have a little puffy sticker on this little bit here, which I did on the other one. And I think I'm going to use some of the Sweet Story puffy stickers. Look at this. I've almost gone through one sheet of puffy stickers already. I'm just waiting for our UK site where I normally get my um, like American crafts goodies from to restock so I can order more. What color do we want to use? I think I want to use, do I want to use another bow or do I want to keep it like this? Because I feel like I've already got a bow on this side. I don't want to have one up here at the front as well. It does look really cute. Maybe this mint green one, but I haven't used mint green. I think I'm gonna keep it as it is right now. Um, I think I think I really like this. So I just pulled out this tiny little um. Oh, look at me, I've got glitter everywhere. Um, this tiny little like iridescent heart that I got from AliExpress. I just had it in my stash, and I'm gonna glue it down there. I think that looks really adorable. Oops. How am I gonna do this without burning myself? Let's see if this works. There we go. All done. What do you think? Um, yeah, it turned out to be quite a disaster with my like second layer here, but um, I kind of fixed it and it looks cute. And that just shows that not everything goes right when you craft. Like I mess up a lot of things, but it's all about, you know, finding a solution and fixing it. But yeah, I think this is so adorable and I'll be making a few more because I've got more of these um, photo um, balls left. Um, so yeah, I really love how this turned out and I love how filled this is with sequins and oh, this is so fun. And I love this little bow. That's so cool. Um, yeah, I really hope um, you enjoyed watching this little process. Um, and give this a try yeah i would love to see how yours turn out if you decide to make one of these um yeah as i said i will leave the um file like name down below for this like base for this um, for this gumball machine and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i would love it if you subscribe for more crafty videos and i will see you all very soon Bye.